So one of the largest expenses that you'll ever pay in your lifetime is the interest on your mortgage. I'm going to talk about a simple and easy concept on how to make your mortgage tax deductible and to your favor. This is a simple term, but many people forget to do this one little simple step in order to benefit them. So if you have a non-registered investment account and you also have a mortgage, a simple step that you need to do is take your non-registered investments, pay down your mortgage, if you immediately borrowed that back, that would make the interest on that mortgage deductible. This puts you in the exact same situation as far as net worth, the amount of debt, the amount of risk that you have. You've just done an extra step as far as paying the mortgage down, borrowing it back to invest. The reason why this works is CRA allows interest on borrowed money that's invested to be tax deductible. The other thing that I want to remind you of is that all investment management fees that you pay on your non-registered investment accounts to your investment advisors is a tax deduction. If your accountant doesn't know that you're paying these fees and you're not asking for the information, you are missing out on extra tax deductions um, throughout the year. So consider the concept of paying your mortgage down, borrowing it back, and don't forget to deduct your um, investment fees on your non-registered accounts.